Welcome to this short video tutorial on push button programming the WSX wall switch sensor. Before we begin, let's look at the WSX features we'll be using to program. First, the LED is located behind and at the bottom of the lens. This will be our primary indicator used to program. The on off button is what we'll use to actually program. Next, we need to understand the process of entering the programming mode reading the current settings, and programming a new setting. This graphic diagrams the programming process. The first few times you do push-button programming, you want to read through the process completely prior to doing any programming. You may want to create a short script or crib sheet to use until you're proficient at the programming process. Timing and sequence are important. Pause too long between button presses and you may be dropped out of the programming mode. To enter the programming mode, we simply hold down the on-off push button until the LED flashes rapidly. Then press the push button the number of times that corresponds to the function number of the setting you're interested in. Two times for function 2, three times for function 3, and so on. When you enter the function, the LED will blink the current setting ten times. For example, if I entered function 2 for time delay, the LED will blink five times to let me know that the current setting is five, which is the default time delay of 10 minutes. It will repeat the five blinks 10 times with a short pause in between. If I just want to know what the setting is, I can just let it continue to the end and it will automatically exit the programming mode. If I want to change the setting, I need to enter the new setting before the 10th blink back is complete. Upon entering the new setting, the LED will blink back the new setting 10 times. Before it finishes the 10th blink back, you need to exit the programming mode and save the setting, or it will not keep the set. To exit the programming mode, simply press and hold the push button until the LED begins to rapid flash. Then release and enter the function number again. This tells the WSX that the setting is final and you want to save it. The LED will blink twice to let you know the setting was accepted. So what are the available functions and settings? Every sensor switch device has an instruction sheet that describes the process and lists functions with available settings. Here we see the time delay function for the WSX is function 2, and the shortest setting is 30 seconds, which is setting 1. Note that the factory default setting is identified by the asterisk next to the setting. We can see the time delay function default setting, 5, which corresponds to 10 minutes. So, find the setting you want to change and write them down on your short script or crib sheet. Next, we need to understand that the LED, when not in the programming mode, will blink every time it sees an occupancy hit. You may also see a very rapid flashing that indicates the sensor is performing daylight harvesting actions. So now I'm going to program my WSX for a 30 second time delay using my short crib sheet, which looks something like this. So first I press and hold until the LED performs a rapid flash. Then I release and press the button two times for the time delay function. Note that the LED is flashing the current setting of five, which is 10 minutes. After a few blink backs, I enter the new setting by pressing the button once for the 30 second setting. Note the LED is flashing the new setting and will repeat the blink back 10 times. Before the 10th time, I want to save and exit by pressing and holding the button until the LED begins to rapid flash. Then I release the button and enter the function number for time delay by pressing the button twice. The LED will blink twice to let me know the new setting was accepted. 